everybody, I'm Leanna Conley. Welcome to Cement Carpet. Today we are interviewing people at the premiere of Batman. Batman is like the amazing thing in the world. It's like yeah. it's like dark and yes. it's the nighttime. Yeah. You must see that movie in the nighttime. It's like brings tingles through your spine. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, so uh, how old are you, my friend? 27. 20. <laughs> 2017! 27 hours old. What did you think of the newest Batman? Uh, it went way past my expectations. Really? It was really good. Epic. Epic. <laughs> I Epic. Amazing. amazing. Heath Ledger just like totally got into the part. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, I saw it. This is my second time seeing it. I'm going to see it on IMAX now. It's excellence. You got to see Batman repeatedly to get the bat nuances. Do you have any interest in seeing Batman or are you just tired of humanity as it is? No. I wouldn't pay you $15 to go to see Batman. I, no, what would you like to see, Kathy? What's your favorite movie? I want to see something other besides this mess. What are your names? Hi, I'm Ting. And I'm Ting Ting. <laughs> Seriously, though. Yeah. You're Ting and you're Ting Ting? Yeah. <laughs> Is this some kind of Ting going on? <laughs> Do you know Mrs. Jones? What? <laughs> so, so have you seen Batman yet? No. We tried to get the IMAX, but it was sold out. Yeah. It was sold really out. Did you see it? No, well, I, I saw the, the non-IMAX version. I was impressed. Yeah, it was it's a good movie. But IMAX seems to be the thing. They don't want the regular stuff anymore. They want IMAX. They want to see woo -hoo -hoo. But you're waiting now until the IMAX goes up. Yeah, yeah definitely. I would, There's, I would only see it in the IMAX. I would, really? yeah. They wow. set up for people who are waiting in front. Oh, that's great. Okay, wait, I think, I think somebody would like attention. There's not, it's not very often you have a cat on your head. Hi. How you doing, sir? I'm fine, and uh, I, I assume you're a Catwoman fan. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm the cat in the hat. Yeah, you're the cat in the hat. And who is your friend up here? Oh! <laughs> oh cat! He, he did a good job, in my opinion. What did you think of his performance in this Batman? Oh, he was great. He wasn't Oscar-worthy, but he was very creepy. Yeah, yeah he was very creepy. Kind of like uh, some of the guys I've dated. <laughs> now, what was better? The explosions with the, with all the drums and the stuff going off and all the explosions, or the plastic shark on Adam West's leg, swinging from the helicopter, which is better? Plastic shark. Plastic, plastic shark, shark guys. Can you imagine if Batman just or the Hulk just stepped on your car? What kind of insurance premium you'd have to pay? I mean, how realistic is that, right? <laughs> She's good. I like her. The insurance premiums for the average person with Batman around would go through the roof. You guys, what do you guys expect? from Batman for this particular Batman. I expect, I expect awesomeness. 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 I'm expecting the second best Joker ever. Second best, who's the first? Mark Hamill, oh wait, is it Mark Hamill? Jack Nicholson. No, 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 no! no! <laughs> the guy who played Lucas Skywalker did the voice Mark acting. Mark Hamill does the cartoon yeah. voice, but Batman is Yes, the thank you, oh Mark Hamill. God. He oh made God. the laugh a musical instrument. Which to Batman would you guys date? Val Kilmer? Michael Keaton, George Clooney, George Clooney, Christian Bale, George Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer, <laughs> George Clooney. George you know he could be your father three times over. You know that, right? I love him. <laughs> what about George Clooney, Val Kilmer? Are they pretty? George Clooney is pretty hot. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, I can see. I think Ting Ting's got a Ting for George Clooney. Yeah. Who would you date? Kim Bassinger or what's her face? Gwen, uh, Gwyneth Guala, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie the new one. What do you think of Maggie? What do you think of Maggie? I don't I'm for Christian Bale myself. <laughs> no, he's a stud muffin. What can I say? He likes the Batman with the nipples. He likes the tights, the thong. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you were the first I metrosexual want... man to really stand up to the plate and say you do Christian Bale. I want to I thank want you. To Christian Bale. Why do you think super action heroes dress in tights and kind of metrosexual wear? To tell you the truth, I'm a ballet dancer, so I completely understand their pain. <laughs> Interesting question. If a guy is hot enough in tights and spandex, is he doable for other men who are metrosexuals? I have no idea. You did, Michael. Yes, the answer is yes. Most people are too afraid to say yes, but yes. Oh my God, Solomon. Mike, this is a break. Oh my God, this is a breakthrough interview, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have found the original metrosexuals. And I, and I, I can't even believe we are on the same streets with the original ones. You guys. Metro card. Look, here's his card, Bernard. Here's his card. Metro Central. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat.